In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an exercise program. The first thing to know about Rehab Guru is that it has a very flexible working palette of exercises. So it's very unopinionated in how you work through the process of creating an exercise program. A few things to note, we've got the current collection. So think of this like a shopping basket that we're going to load with exercises. And then when we come to the checkout or the publish page, only then will they become fixed and assigned to a patient. So for now, I'm going to clear this collection so that I've got a fully blank canvas in order to load exercises into. So I could jump straight to the exercise page and start searching and adding exercises. But just to give myself a bit of a head start, I'm going to choose a pre-made template. So there are over 250 Rehab Guru templates. You have got the option of saving your own templates or subscribing to others. Or if you're a part of a team, you could subscribe to their template feeds as well. I could also load a previous prescription by knowing the program ID. So these are all ways of loading exercises into this shopping basket or working collection. I can load the entire template list of exercises, which has immediately given me 13. I can also go into a different template, select just one or two. And now I'm being given an option. Do I want to overwrite those that are already in my working collection or would I like to add them in addition to? In this case, I'm going to add them in addition to. So we now have 15 in our working collection. I'm going to go forward to the exercise page and I'd like to search for an exercise using the foam roller. So I want to target the uh, hamstrings and I'm going to uh, search for hamstring foam roller exercise. So if I just start typing hamstrings, we're going to get hundreds of results that involve the word hamstrings or include the word hamstrings. So this is probably isn't going to be that specific. So with over 5,000 exercises in the database, it can get quite difficult to pinpoint the exact exercise that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to combine the word hamstring with the equipment foam roller. And immediately after checking that equipment filter, I get my foam roller hamstring exercises. So I'm going to add this one. I can double check that that is the one that I'm looking for by clicking on it, viewing the video, I can scrub through the video and check the images. And I can see that this one has been added to the collection by this red remove and add. So this is just the toggle icon for the adding and removing exercise from the collection. If I couldn't find the exercise that I was looking for and I was a Rehab Guru Pro subscriber, I could create an exercise using the button on the top left. This is an exercise that I prescribe quite often. So for now, I'm going to click on the heart icon and make that exercise into a favorite of mine. As I go forward to the settings page, I see my full collection of exercises in a list on the left and whichever exercise is selected will be shown in detail on the right. The edit panel on the right, I've got the options to change the exercise name. I can edit the description if I wish. And I can also edit the parameters that are applied to this exercise. If I want to add a custom parameter that's not listed, I could do that at the bottom as well. I'm going to save that. Weight is not necessarily relevant, so I'll remove that. Rest, 30 seconds in this case. So I can work through my program. I can reorder them just by dragging them. I can select multiples if I don't want to have those. So this is really where you can do the detail uh, honing of your exercise specifically for your patient. If I wanted to apply multiple parameters to a number of exercises in this series, 
I can select three of them, select the exercise that I want to apply the parameters to the rest of them, apply to selected, and this will apply global parameters of sets, time, times per day, and rest to all of those that were selected. So that's a quick tip for quickly applying the same parameters to a number of exercises in your collection. Going forward to the publish page, this is where we're going to actually assign this program to a patient. So I can change the program title if I wish. If I'm a Rehab Guru Pro subscriber, I could add some detailed notes that would be received in the email that is sent to the patient. I can select or create a new patient. I can also select multiple patients if this is to be sent to a group. I can choose to send them an email. If this is toggled to on, they will receive an email that will give them the details of how to view their program. I can save this working collection as a template so that I can use it again later and save time. If I'm a pro subscriber, I can download as a PDF for printing or attaching to an email. And again, I could attach some attachments in PDF format if I wanted to. Here is the preview of this program. This is what the patient will see when they view it in the client portal or the Rehab Guru client app. By clicking on assign program, we've got some confirmation details, which I will just click OK to and that program has been sent. By going to the clients page, I can view these previous prescriptions by clicking on the patient details, and this is the program that has just been sent. I can view all of the exercises in text format that were part of that program. This could be copied and pasted into patient notes, for example. I can load this into my collection. If I see this patient again in a couple of weeks, then I could load this into the collection, progress a couple of exercises, and then re-prescribe. I can also view that program in the client portal, so this is what the patient will see. When the patient starts to log some progress and their compliance, pain, and wellness scores using the Rehab Guru client app, I can use the results button here on the right in order to view their progress. That completes this tutorial on creating your first program. In the next video, we're going to deep dive into the exercise search functions.